good. So I went to check my water and I have to say, I kind of surprised myself. Look at all the bubbles. I could, I like from leaving it out overnight, it was like all these little bubbles of light collected into the water. Wow. I know it made me so happy. And it was like, whoa, right? Like sometimes we, we kind of can surprise ourselves. So I don't, maybe you had an opportunity to collect water last night and I went and fed my little Reiki garden, a couple of plants. I didn't want to move it, but I did want to show y'all. Yeah. And so I'll be able to use it in many ways. So last night, the full moon that came in around 648 to be exact, our time, central time, was one of the most spiritual full moons of the year. And it just brought in a lot of light, a lot of opportunity for consciousness within you. Scorpio is deep. So you may feel this. You may feel this right now, the intensity of your emotions. Why do I go so deep? Why am I always asking the big questions? Why do I always feel the shadows? It is important to look at all of that. And right now we are asking deep questions. We had that whole portal of eclipse. What came up? So what can you let go of? We'll start into that release phase tomorrow. What can you let go of to help you move through? We're going to come out of Mercury retrograde. We're going to start to feel a little more direct in our energies. And we're probably going to go take a breath so that you can notice in your life what's changing. The Taurus energy, we moved into Taurus, helps us to ground. And Taurus kind of wants us to be a little more simpler, like appreciate the beauty, appreciate Mother Earth. So we ask the deep questions and then we kind of ground with the messages that come in for us. So listening to the messages is really important. I know it's easy to go, no, not that, no, not that. Trusting what comes in for you right now is really important. But setting these intentions and allowing this new path. I feel like I know, personally, I've been through the ringer through the eclipse, but in a good way, in a good way. Because if we keep carrying all the old stuff and the old ways with us, we just get bogged down. You know, especially if we're carrying old generational energy, old ancestral energy, old habits that you know you want to shift and change. So I do feel a sense of like, I was in a really long meditation last night with one of my teachers and I'm thinking, how am I going to sit through an hour and 15 minutes, right? But it was like, yeah, just go deep. And the deeper you go in, the more you can lose that struggle of time and hurry up and I got to be here and just be in your vibration of energy. So as you go through the meditation today, just kind of notice, make some notes in your journal. I was just kind of reviewing my new moon, what I had set out, and then just kind of re-upping with that intensity of the light. Like, okay, is this what I'm still working on? What am I shifting? What am I bringing forward? And what am I letting go? I feel some of that letting go has just like dropped off. And so we allow that Taurus, again, that earth energy to help us transmute it. All right. When we transmute it, we become more aware with intention of what is releasing and what we're replacing with light, with love, with your heart. So what is it for you? That's what we want to notice. We'll go through our spirit to spirit. We'll breathe. We'll open up the aura. And we'll take a few moments for you to contemplate what it is. And then what we want to do is bring those elevated emotions, how you want to feel as we have these intentions, as we move through the rest of this month, as we come out of Mercury retrograde, to help you set that path forward. And that's what we want to elevate. So we'll be a little quiet there and let that radiate out all around you. So take a nice deep inhale. Let's begin finding something to light. A little fire here. So we call in this element of fire. Feeling that spark within your purpose, your soul. Look at this flame. Noticing the element of air through the smoke. Clearing the mind as we call it in. Creating that new mindset. Clearing the space. Calling in the element of water. Letting it just flow right through you all the way down. Calling in the element of earth. The Taurus energy grounding centering inhaling Scorpio's water inhaling and 
and exhaling all the way down as we start to activate that deep breath within you, expanding the belly and the side ribs, opening the chest. Exhale, pulling the breath all the way down, calling all your energy into you, call it in. Taking another deep inhale and exhale all the way down, slowing down, grounding with Mother Earth. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, just dropping right into the deepest part of your heart, right in the very center. Feel this connection, your spirit, the greater spirit, aligning all this energy with you. Feeling it all come together, spiritual, mental, physical, emotional bodies right here. Connecting with source, connecting with that possibility of co-creating your path, new dreams, new possibilities, refreshing them, bringing them forward, calling in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, the crystal beings, calling in your higher self. Take a moment and just notice all this energy coming in around you, supporting you, Connecting with the energy from the higher realms. Take a deep inhale, breathing all the way up. And as you exhale, just bringing all this in, absolute light, moving through this alignment you have created right through the body, the legs, the feet, deep into the earth. Breathing back up from the earth all the way up into the higher realms, opening up this channel of light exhaling all the way down and now opening from the heart right there that connection where you co-create opening up through your aura opening it as wide as you can just breathe it out there you may even feel a little exaggerated with the full moon and now just call it back into you breathe it in letting it expand inhale expanding front Side, back, side, all the quadrants of the aura. Exhale, breathing it back in. Inhale, breathing up the body, up into the crown, through into the higher realms. Exhale down, moving through the higher self, the higher chakras, into the body, through the first chakra. Legs, feet, all the way down, opening up this channel of light. Inhale, expanding all around you. Exhale, pulling all the way back in. Right here in the deepest part of your heart. Noticing for you, what are you working on for your path? Take a few moments, make some notes, journal. Reaffirm your intentions. What are the emotions telling you now? What is that depth of your soul speaking to you about? What can you let go of so that you can walk forward with your soul, your alignment, your purpose? set your intentions from your heart from that place of creation and as you write these out start to feel them see them hear them know them and allow those elevated emotions of each one. How do you want to feel as these come in for you? When they come in, as they come in. Are you receiving them? And then we allow the elevated emotions to radiate out through our aura. So we call programming the aura front, side, back, all around you. 
with these intentions, these high vibrations, the joy, the love, the abundance, the prosperity. We breathe it out and we receive it in. Sitting with these vibrations of light, holding that vibration of elevated energy, the joy, the peace, the love, releasing anything at all that no longer serves this path, and see that clear tunnel through the third eye, that path that opens up, feeling the alignment all around you, sitting in your beautiful aura of light, surrounded by this white light. Only good goes from you, only good comes to you. from the heart, expanding this energy, your energy, your vibration. vibration of light. Only good comes to you. Only good goes from you. See it, hear it, feel it, all this energy coming in for you. As I go to look at the cards for this beautiful light of the moon, it was a little pink. It was big, it was bright helping all of us, grabbing in from the Himalayans. Blessings of love and light. May peace prevail on earth. Great invocation. Taking a nice deep inhale, holding your intentions from your heart. I'm going to ask just for a little clarity. As I go to look at the cards that come forward. Inhaling and exhaling. All right, Daughter of Water. So Daughter of Water is this energy of intuitiveness, feelings, emotions. So a lot of this could be going on right now. It's a Scorpio for you. So it is though about some boundaries. Watch what you're taking in too much. Noticing all these emotions coming in. I had to do this the other day. Okay, what's mine? What's not? What's from the universe? Use your tools. Clear out the excess right from the solar plexus so that you can feel your love, a clarity in your own intuitive gifts right now. We want to have compassion for others. This is kind of like an empath card. So just notice for you all that water. Clear it out. I think the tendency right now is to take in more than our share. Breathe in and out right through the solar plexus. And then we have a few other cards here to look at. Seven of Earth. 
So this is some of the Taurus energy. Taurus energy is asking you to get more simple, to get more line. So there is an eye up there. Some of this is getting a little muddy. Too many projects, too many things going on. All right, we all know how that feels. So it is a time to slow down. Use that intuitive guidance from the emotional energy you're bringing in. What do I need to focus on? One thing at a time. What do I need to focus in on? Bring it into the earth. That will help you. Five of water is next. And this is about some emotional changing going on. This is what this energy is all about from the eclipse. Letting go of old energies. So you will feel a shift in your emotions, but go within. Nothing is lost. Foundations are building. But clarify what is going on for you. This goes really well with this card. All right, just like that little walk I took myself on last Friday. It's like, okay, ask. Where can I clear up? What can I release? And then I can stand in my path. I can stand in my path. Otherwise, you start fueling energy that could feel a little bit trickster, a little bit deceptive, a little bit uncertainty, because that's of the mind. But we want to go back into our spiritual practice. Clear all that out right now. Probably the mind is being fueled from the emotions, telling you all these things, the worthiness, what am I, who am I? But allow yourself to have pride in who you are. That's where we go deep into the heart. Right there in the deepest part of your heart where you co-create with God, with light. And then here we go. A little card. We had the three of fire come in. So that's like stand in that channel of light with your passion, your purpose, and then things begin to change. That wheel of fortune is going to spin. All right, so offer gratitude. Maybe you do feel right now you're on the bottom of the plane, bottom of the barrel, bottom of the circle of the wheel. Gratitude to help it lift and move around. We will have a great sense as we move out of this week. We will start to see a more forward motion. So trust in the work you're doing right now to get through this. Trust with those intentions you want to see coming forward. Trust in the ability to co-create from your heart with source, with God. Take another deep inhale. Let all this settle in. Noticing what you can take from this. Balancing the emotions, knowing what's yours. Simplifying with Mother Earth. Doing your work, getting out of the mind. Coming back into that co-creation with God in the heart. And allow the wheel of fortune to turn for you. Inhaling and exhaling, coming right back into the heart, feeling all this beautiful energy just radiating out. Hold this vibration as often as you can, come back to it. And now let's just tap it right into the body. I am co-creating. I am moving through my path. I am opening up to my light. I am grounding. I am healthy. I am processing. I am moving through. I am receiving the abundance of my intentions each and every day as I tune in. I am noticing the light that shines around me and my aura opening up from the compassion of my heart to create my path. I release old, old, old patterns right here on the liver spot. I awaken to who I am right now. I am. I am. I am co-creating my life right now. Right here at the Karate Chop, I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. Take a breath, take a pause, grounding all this energy deep into Mother Earth, holding that vibration of your heart, bringing the hands right up, offering a moment of gratitude, gratitude for your path, gratitude for the cosmic forces that keep us turning round and round, gratitude for that wheel of fortune coming in, gratitude for your spirit, the connection with Mother Earth, the connection with the greater spirit. Gratitude for showing up for you. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down deep into the earth. Take this with you. Come back to the heart, your co-creating spot, as often as you can. Have a great day to your spirit.
Namaste.